Hello everyone. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to use the Smart PLS2. This video series is going to be for absolute beginners. The Smart PLS software is used to calculate or, or to find out the structural equation model and you know regression analysis and things like f, uh, f square, r square. All of these things are easily it can be easily done with the Smart PLS software. You can do this with SPS software, but the Smart PLS is very user friendly. Now, this video is just going to be a brief introduction. I'm not going to show you, show you actually show you how to download and how to use it, but I just want to give you a brief introduction to what this series is all about, what this video is all about. The Smart PLS software has two versions. The first one is the obviously the, the older version is the Smart PLS2 and the newer version is the Smart PLS3. In this series I will be showing you how to use the Smart PLS2. Now you might be asking why don't you show us the updated version, the Smart PLS3 version? Well the Smart PLS2, the thing about Smart PLS2 is it a lot of people need guidance in how to use this. The second reason is it's very popular. The third reason is it's 100% free. You don't have to pay a single dime for this. But um, I've seen my friends, you know, when they download this for the first time, they do need a lot of help in how to actually use the software, how to install the software, um, where to find the code, the registration code, all of these things. A lot of people get confused, so I decided to make this video in response to that. Now, on the other hand, <coughs> the Smart PLS3, um, let me just show you what it looks like. The Smart PLS3 is um, the latest version it's much more user friendly um, it's very simple and easy to use but the problem is it's not free it is free for 30 days but after that you will be required to make a purchase fortunately the student version is free however once your data crosses 100 units you will be required to get the professional version because the, the software will not allow you to make use of the software if your data exceeds 100 units. But I will make a separate video on how to use the version 3. So let me just show you what the Smart PLS 3 looks like. So this is what the Smart PLS 3 looks like. Uh, it's very simple. It looks very cheerful to look at. It's also very easy to use, so this is what it looks like. And the Smart PLS2 looks exactly like this. It's, it's the same thing, both the versions are almost the same, just some slight variation. So that's it for the introduction of this video. In the next video, I will be showing you how to download and how to install this smart PLS2 software. So thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe, give us a thumbs up and please do give us some comments, you know, what you think, what you want to know about this software. Until then, take care.